So, uh, I'm trying to do this on the iPad. Sorry. I don't know. Fuck. Anyways, um, I've had the car now for about four days. And it it's amazing. <laughs> I got the wastegate noises, which is great. You can hear the dump pipe when the wastegate kicks off, and it just is so loud. Like my father-in-law, who builds old-school V8 muscle car drag cars and stuff, and. He's had some pretty wicked cool drag cars and he was impressed with it. So that makes me happy. Since my dad's dead. I love you, dad. Miss you a lot. But I think my dad would be proud as well. So that's that's a special moment for me. Um, she rips. Sounds good. I've put, it was 725. When we pulled it off the dyno, so I put 300 miles on her so far with the tune and everything. No problems, no mishaps, no gripes, no complaints. Um, you know, the only complaint every Subaru enthusiast has is uh, you want more power. <laughs> but on other unrelated news, the CBR 600 RR. It got its maiden voyage about five, ten minutes ago. I just got back, took her for a loop. I was having issues with it sh wanting to shift into gear and everything. I said, screw it, put the chain on it. Figured since it's a wet system, I might as well just run it and see what happens. And sure enough, ran it and she shifts just fine. Beautifully, actually. Better than the last motor and everything. So. No problems there. Everything runs just fine. There's no weird wobbles, nothing. Everything checks out. No leaking oil. Not even the freaking fork seals are leaking. Those things are... Right there it is. See, nothing. Great. So, coolant's been purged already. It's idled about a thousand times since I put the motor in. But Mama was pregnant, and I didn't want her thinking she could get on the bike and ride while she was pregnant. That was a big no-no for me, so I never finished it until last night. I put the chain on, and then when I got home from school today, I went ahead and gave her a ride, broke her in, put some great A92 non-ethanol in it, and took her for a loop around town. Run, runs good, so tomorrow... I gotta go to bed because I gotta wake up in like six hours for school. But tomorrow when I get back from school, I'll go ahead and give her a rip down the freeway and see how she runs. But eight thousand nine, yeah, it was nine thousand RPMs at sixty miles an hour. She was doing just fine. Did a bunch of engine braking as I rode around town and everything, and no noises, no nothing. So. Good job on that one. Didn't need the old motor for parts or nothing to make this one work, so that was good. You can tell that I haven't leaned it over that far since the accident, though. I'll get rid of this here tomorrow. Make that all look like this. Nice and pretty. There's no rash on this side. Need to make it look like it did. Get rid of that little bit of rash. So, thanks for tuning in and checking out. Uh, I don't know what's next. Maybe the Rottweiler stage kit for that. Maybe I'll finally grow some balls and make the Duke faster. But it's pretty fast as it is. It's already scary. I don't know that I need more power on it. But whatever, we'll see. This definitely needs a turbo. So maybe the turbo is next. But after dumping $15,000 into this this year, I'm kind of uh, 
a little hesitant to put any more into it, at least for another year or two. But I'll probably get like little nickel and dime pretty stuff to make it pretty, make it pretty. And I definitely need to take that off and the gas cap shit off. But so.